Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, and yes, I'm on Comic-Con on preview night, and I'm going to go trying on the deep, going to go try and search for DVDs and Blu-rays here, see what I can find. Right now it's not busy because I got in, you know, the professional entrance, so, you know, I'm some of the first people in here. It's like the best time to get in. You get like 15 minutes or 20 minutes before everyone piles in, and it's kind of, you can actually walk around. It's kind of like it was like five years ago. So let's see what we can find. It's kind of hard to find spots where you can talk where there's not like people on your, you know, your oost the whole time. But you know, the things I've seen here so far at the Full Moon booth, they have this cool Lucky Charms toy, like Lucky Charms box, like um, with a DVD inside, which is pretty cool. And they have like the Castle Freak Blu-ray, which I think might not be out anywhere else, you know, for a little while yet. And then Troma's got some like, rep, you know reproduction VHS's of some of the things and stuff like that which is pretty cool but you know there's not always tons and tons of DVDs here it's kind of like you have to sort out what's kind of ones they have like it's more like with the studios that have them and things like that That one booth is always there that I showed some of those movies from. They have like bootlegs and stuff. I think they've been here forever. They were even at like, I think the uh, Days of the Dead Horror Convention, they were there as well. I don't know, I don't really like buying that much of that bootleg kind of stuff anymore. And the picture quality is always so bad on it. Sometimes they have like these weird time stamps on them on the bottom, like that they kind of copyright bootlegs. Kind of a weird thing they, that some of these companies do. And as you can see, the further you get away from the free posters area, you know, you can actually walk around a little bit. It's a little bit less busy. The, the free area, though, gets, like, so insane, you can't even move. And it's, you know, I remember years back when they had posters just on a table. You just used to walk up and take them. Now it's, like, a huge waiting thing to get them. And, yeah, they do have some comics here. But, you know, Comic-Con is way more now about, like, toys and pop culture things and stuff like that. So the comics are kind of put into, like, a small little section now. They're pretty much all, like, from here and then down. They kind of, like, separate them. And it's really, you know, I bet when you were here years back, though, it would all be that. You know, just comics and stuff like that. You can open it. You can. Come on. And here's the main things that I picked up. This cool Friday the 13th. I think it's a toy in here, but it's in like an old school box. It's one of the exclusives. Um, it's like done like the old, like the old video game. I think the one that was on Nintendo. This was really cool. Like luckily enough, the line for this wasn't horrible. Like the line for those that exclusive Alien thing that came out was awful. Uh, Castle Freak. This is one I really liked. And this really cool thing, a couple of people mentioned it to me about this, Unlucky Charms, it's a full moon thing, and it's in this really cool case. It's like Lucky Charms and it's a movie, Unlucky Charms. It kind of looks like a leprechaun kind of movie. It looks like a fun one. I just like the box, and it comes with um, the movie, like I think marshmallows or something in it. Something like that. It's one of those kind of things that I'm not sure if I even open, just because it's pretty cool like that. But I probably have to look inside, though. This one, though, this is a really good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Comic-Con shopping video. Like I said, with Comic-Con, it's more, 
you know, there's not tons and tons of DVDs, and then some of the spots were just kind of hard to film stuff because it was so busy today. Uh, I was, like, beyond busy, but there's going to be a whole bunch, a couple other videos there, and if Brennan, you know, is able to get in with the passes, there'll be videos with him. There'll also be, you know, just, like, a general tour video, like I always do at Comic-Con, when I show, like, the autograph room, talk about things on the floor, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.